Hello again, Dave Walker, your Connect Guru, back with a quick look at breakout rooms in Adobe Connect and some new behavior in Connect 8. For those of you who use breakout rooms with previous versions of Connect, I think you're going to be excited about the way breakout rooms work in the new version. For those of you who haven't been exposed to Connect's breakout rooms yet, this may help you to see how you might use them in the future. If you're not familiar with the way breakout rooms work in Connect, you may need to watch this video a couple of times to understand it. Once you do, though, it's not really that difficult. So to lay a little groundwork, in Adobe Connect, you can have up to five breakout rooms with as many as 50 students distributed throughout all of the breakout rooms. If you have Connect version 8, Service Pack 1, then you can have up to 20 breakout rooms and up to 200 students in the breakout rooms. In today's example, we're going to have three different breakout sessions, each with a different set of pods and instructions. But how do we reset our breakout rooms for each session so that they are configured differently each time we send our students to the breakout rooms and we still retain all of the things that were done in those previous sessions? This is what I want to show you today. One of the first things we need to understand is that when we start a breakout session for the first time, the configuration of the breakout room will be determined by the current layout. In other words, the breakout room will look just like the layout you were on when you started the breakout session. So the first thing we need to do is to set up our breakout layouts. For my first breakout session, I want the students to collaborate using a whiteboard. So I'm going to create a new layout duplicating the sharing layout and name it Breakout Layout 1. I don't really have to duplicate an existing layout. I could just as easily have started with a blank layout. But I'm going to use the attendees pod and the chat pod in the breakout room, so I'll duplicate a layout that already has those pods so I don't have to add them. Now, this share pod is the same one that was in our sharing layout, and it's displaying the same presentation. Since it's the same instance of the share pod, just being displayed in a different layout, if I change it here, it's going to change in the sharing layout too. Instead of that, I'll hide the share pod in this layout and add a new share pod that has no connection to the sharing layout. Then I'll set the share pod to a new whiteboard. I don't really need the students to use their webcam video in the breakout session, so I'm going to close the video pod and add a new share pod with some instructions. I've used Adobe Illustrator to create a Swift file with the instructions and uploaded it to my share pod. The reason I didn't just use a note pod is that when you start the breakout session, the text of any note pods is not replicated in the breakout room. But the contents of share pods is. There, that's what I want students to work with in the first breakout session. In the second breakout session, I want the students to use a very similar layout, but with different instructions. So I'll create a new layout, duplicating breakout layout one, and naming it breakout layout two. Again, these share pods are the same ones that are displayed in the first layout we created. If I just upload different instructions to the share pod, then it's going to change the instructions in the first breakout layout as well. So I'll hide this pod and bring in a new share pod and upload the second set of instructions into that new pod. It's okay to leave the share pod with the whiteboard like it is, even though it is the same whiteboard share pod that appears in the other breakout layout. The reason is because in the breakout session, brand new instances of the whiteboard are created in each new breakout room. Now for the third breakout session, I want the students each to upload something into a share pod. So I'll duplicate Breakout Layout 1 again, naming my new layout Breakout Layout 3. Then I'll hide my existing pods. And add four new share pods. renaming them so that the students know which share pod they need to work with. Student 1, Student 2, Student 3, and Student 4. And of course, a new share pod for a different set of instructions. Great! Now I have my three breakout layouts. Let's simulate our breakout sessions. So here I am in the main meeting room, 
moving right along with my training, and I get to the point when I need to start the first breakout session. I'll switch views in the attendees pod to the breakout view. Here, I can assign my students to one of the breakout rooms or click this button to distribute them into the breakout rooms in roughly equal quantities. For this demonstration, I'm going to put everyone into the same breakout room. Not how you would normally do it, but remember, this is just a demonstration. Now that I have my students assigned to the appropriate breakout rooms, I need to make sure that I have the correct layout selected. So I select Breakout Layout 1, and then I just need to start the breakout session by clicking this button. Notice that I am still in the main meeting. So whatever I do there is not seen by any of the students in the breakout session. If I just drag myself into one of the breakout rooms though, I can join with the students that are in that breakout room and I can watch and listen to them work or even participate if need be. By the way, if you're using voice over IP or an integrated audio conference, these will be automatically split into multiple channels. So the students inside each breakout room only hear the audio from the other attendees in that breakout room and not from any of the other breakout rooms or the main meeting. Inside the breakout room, all of the students are promoted to the role of presenter so they can all use the whiteboards, notes, video, and audio tools inside that environment. When the breakout session is finished, I can just click on this button to end breakouts and everyone is returned to the main meeting room where they will listen to me, their instructor, wax eloquent on my favorite subject. At some point, it'll be time for breakout session number two. This is where we're going to see one of the new features in Connect 8. Since our second breakout session needs to have the breakout rooms configured differently, and because we want to retain the end result of our first breakout session, we're going to have to delete our first set of breakout rooms. To do this, we just go to the breakout view in the attendees pod, and in the options menu, select remove all rooms. Notice that we are prompted to name the breakout session. All of the pods in all of the rooms in this particular breakout session will be saved under the name we assign here. I'll call this Breakout Session 1. Next, we'll click on the plus button up above to add up to 20 new rooms and assign our students to those rooms. Then, we select Breakout Layout 2. And start the breakout session. Notice that the new breakout room has the same configuration as Breakout Layout 2. Now the students interact with the breakout room until the host ends the breakout session. Again, the instructor, well, instructs until it's time for breakout session 3 and we rinse and repeat. Remove all the existing breakout rooms, giving the breakout session a name, Add new breakout rooms and assign the students to their rooms. Select the appropriate layout and start the breakout session. Allow the students to interact in the breakout session. Then end the breakout session. Now if we go to the pods menu and select breakout pods, we'll see that in addition to the existing breakout rooms, we can look at pods for the previous breakout sessions, listed under the names we gave them. See? We can bring the pods from the breakout rooms into the main meeting to share what the students did with the entire group. We can praise their good work or critique it as a group, or even come back to the meeting room long after the class has ended to review the work the students did during the breakout sessions. Sweet! Now we always know which breakout session the rooms and pods belong to. Don't you feel privileged to have Connect 8? What? You don't have it? Well, contact Intisolve and we'll do something to rectify that so you don't have to miss out on these great features.